Hi, this is Bob. Uh, working on the HW104 here, getting it ready to put the case on and all that. And I was talking to the guys this morning on uh, 75 meter phone about 20 minutes. And the heat sink here on the HW104 was really hot. And I thought about that. I, I usually run a little less than full output power. I had it set for about 80 watts out. But uh, it was really getting hot, and I thought, you know, those finals, you just can't find those finals anymore if you need to get a set of finals. So what I came up with, I decided to put a, a fan on the back. And you can see I've got two of these. Uh, these are uh, plastic wall anchors that you drill into concrete with a quarter inch uh, concrete bit, push them in. And I've got two number eight sheet metal screws that are an inch and a quarter long and uh, these are the uh, these are the wall anchors I'm using these little quarter inch wall anchors anyhow I found that you could just push those in here push them down in and uh, they fit in there really tight you get them all the way down in there they really fit tight so I got two of them on here and you can push this in to the heat sink. I'm not going to push them all the way down in there right now, but I'm just showing you how they go like that. And what I've done, I put a 15 ohm resistor here. Now this is the 13.8 volt line or 12 volt line. I could have tapped onto it back in here, but this is so crowded and there's so many wires going to that one terminal. But I noticed this one over here was all by itself. So I just run the, I've got a 15 ohm resistor there that acts as a fuse. If there's a short circuit on that fan line, this resistor will blow, protecting the, uh, the wiring. So uh, I wanted to have some kind of a fuse device. So I just used a 15 ohm half watt resistor. You, resistor. You, could use a, you could use a 10 ohm, you could use a 22 ohm. Just a little half watt resistor there, low resistance, that'll blow if this should short out. Now this particular radio has been modified. I didn't do it, somebody else did. This is the original antenna jack. I'm going to put a label on there that says fan. But this is the original antenna jack. And it was not being used. This, uh, whoever owned this, put an antenna connector, an SO239, up here. So I just connect my antenna there, but I've got my uh, 12 volts or 13.8 volts through the resistor coming out at this little terminal here. I could have used this one down here which is a spare and that wouldn't have been a problem. It was available but that would mean stringing the wire a longer distance. So I just put it in here like that. There we go. And I got my little fan on here. I'm going to turn the power on see. Now one thing I did, I put a 100 ohm resistor in series with that fan. And I want you to notice how quiet it is. I've got this camera right now less than 8 inches from that fan. And you can't even hear it run. Just a 100 ohm 1 watt resistor in series with the fan. The fan came out of a power supply in a computer. The power supply was uh, an old beat up one I had never used, so I took a couple of parts out of it, including this fan, and I threw it in the junk, in the trash. So I'm going to use that, and that blows right onto the heat sink here, and it'll keep it cool, runs so quiet. And I just thought that was a neat little thing. Uh, this is not my idea to mount the fan with these push in wall anchor mounts. I saw this on uh, the internet. It's another guy's idea. I wish I could think of his call. I can't remember it, but it's a great idea. And so that's what I used to put that in there. And it really holds the fan in there securely. Now these will be pushed in here in just a few minutes when I get done talking to you guys. I'm going to push those all the way down in and they fit really tight when I do that. So I just wanted to show you that if you got an SB104 or an HW104, you might consider putting a little cooling fan on the back like that. Put a 100 ohm resistor in series with it and it's very, very quiet. And then I, I would also recommend putting a little fuse resistor like this is a 15 ohm 
half watt resistor here that will burn up if I should have a short in that line for whatever reason. That's it guys. Just wanted to show you that. And Heath Kits forever.